Howdy everyone, this is Greykith. We're going to do a new playthrough here. This one's called uh, Probes Before Crew. Uh, and so our tech tree is, uh, and it's going to be a career playthrough. Our tech tree is based around doing probe missions. So uh, you'll see here our first couple of trees we have along unlock is, again, basic rocketry and engineering. But we don't have any uh, crew capsules. Those don't come till later. Uh, so there is some um, cockpits, um, and yeah, I'm looking for them. I think they're they're much farther in here. Um, those cones. So, and survivability, space exploration, simple command module. So yeah, they're they're um, at 90 science. That's uh, our first command module and our crewed mission, and then that uh, continues on, it looks like, down this path is where all our command modules are. So it's uh, going to be a pretty fun playthrough, pretty light. Uh, I've added a whole list of mods. The uh, biggest one I'm looking forward to, though, is the one we're going to start with, and that is with uh, uh, Rover Dude's uh, sounding rockets. So I built us a little rocket here called it the grasshopper and we're going to launch that off okay so here it is this is the grasshopper um, one little uh, note gotcha if you're uh, playing along at home with uh, sounding rockets the avionics package does not come with any battery of its own but does require power to work so you do need to add a um, battery pack of some type and so I've added the Z100 it also comes with its own little uh, mini ba battery packs too if you would like to add more battery so you can add the little uh so yeah and then you got the little uh battery there okay so let's go ahead and we got this all built up here and we'll go ahead and, and launch it all right we're on the launch pad We've already got some science available to us, so let's go ahead and spam that science. And uh, we'll record all... Whoop. We're going to go ahead and transmute these. I should have kept them, uh, but we'll uh, keep experiment. There we go. Okay, we're ready to launch off. Three, two, one. Here we go. Transmitting off more science. On to our next stage. And then our final stage. So that's our first basic rocket. Uh, got a little parachute here so we can uh, return with that science. I'll meet you back at the uh, vehicle assembly building when we uh, with a few more. All right, we got 30 science from that. And a little bit of funds. So we'll go ahead and unlock some nodes. See, I got 21, so I can get survivability, which gives us a bunch of modules for buoyancy stuff. Uh, a couple of universal tanks, a little parachute. That might be pretty handy. Uh, radiator, uh, real shoots parachute. That's awfully handy. Um, are any of these fins? Ooh, we got a nose cone. That'd be handy. But a couple things. Oh, there's some science. And a reaction wheel. Um, reaction wheel will give us uh, better steering. I think we unlocked a parachute here. A bigger parachute. Yeah, right here. 6.25 parachute with the sounding rockets. Uh, the internal debate. Do I go with the real shoots parachute? Uh, and give me more survivability as well as the pack chute? Or... Steering, much better steering and control. You know, it's not going to take much more science. We'll have that science, and we'll get that next. So we'll go with better parachutes. 
Hey, so let's go ahead and build us up another rocket, and um, we'll do any more missions we got for us. Looks like the next one's going to be reach the upper atmosphere, so we'll go ahead and take that, and we'll build us a stronger rocket. All right, let's go ahead and use this probe core, and this one should uh, come with a little bit of charge, and then we'll have our... Um, payload pieces, so we now have the 6.25 payload pieces, which should work well with that probe core, and they do. So we'll put a couple of those. I'm just going to grab the fairings now while I'm here, that way I have them there. Let's go ahead and grab us some electrical. Ooh, we got inline electrical to now too, as well as a little solar panel. Uh, let's see here, because that will have 200 charge versus the 100 from that. So yeah, let's go with the inline one. Uh, let's add a antenna again. Looks like the antenna will end up internal on this truss. So okay. I like that. It looks a little better anyways. Uh, engines. We're not quite worried about those yet. Let's get the science loaded up. So let's grab us a temperature probe. And our... Little science boxes here. That off the side. Just for a moment while we load up. We may only need one truss. It's up here just in case we do, because it looks like. Come on. There we go. Uh, I'll throw one of these on so we can kind of see some more data. And then... Oh. Okay. This is sticking through too much or something. Oh. Try to put it on top of the Geiger counter, which got covered up. Spin that around here. This here. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. We won't need this truss. Um, we do have this inline mystery goo, so we can take that up with us. See how big this one is. Uh, maybe. All the sciencey bits. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Oh, uh, not really. Move it in just a little bit. There. It's mostly in. Okay. So there we go. We got the top part of our uh, rocket all built. Let's add a parachute. Since we decided to go with the real chutes, we'll go ahead and grab one of those. Oh, come back here. Uh, I don't need crew. Uh, oh, click the wrong button there. Ah, there we go. Previous size, previous size. Uh, maybe, nope. I guess it jumps right from, uh, so there we go. We'll go with that. I was hoping for something just a little bit bigger, but, uh, that should be fine. And let's go to our engines. We should have, and that's not going to have a 
a point on top for it. We do have the XL sounding rocket, which is giving us a lot more thrust than we need. And then we also have these uh, striker sounding rockets in the uh, 2.65. So let's see here, get these sorted out. There's that one, and then the sounding rocket one. Yeah, we can probably get one more sounding rocket. Uh, we should also have couplings. No, we need the Is this the one point. No, that's a one point. To five. That looks like a 1.25. No, it looks like it doesn't look like we have any um, for the 065. So we probably won't be able to use the striker. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's not going to automatically fall off. So we'll go with a couple of these. Okay, so bottom one, middle one, okay, there we go, there is our second rocket, go ahead and put some aerodynamics on this one, Gonna adjust the thrust down just a little bit. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and put one more. Um, engines. Oh, I think we got too tall here, or too heavy or something. Too many parts. Okay. So, for kicks and giggles. That's what we got, 1,809. Let's see what it is with just one of these. Okay, we can fix the part count. Um, we just need to do this. We'll put three on. I'll actually reverse this one too. Okay, there we go. That should bring our part count down. Yep, just under what we want, wanted. And we'll call this Ant Man. Kind of going for the insect theme there. So we should be hopefully able to uh, launch this up and it'll reach. Uh, 18,000. All right, let's go ahead and we'll grab this one right here. Keep that. Record, radiation, transmit temperature transmit and we're off go ahead and grab all these transmit e oh there went that one on to our second one
tipping over just a little. Should be okay. I'll be a little bit more on the spot and hopefully that'll give us more thrust right away. All right, there we go. We crossed 18,000, so we just need to continue going up. I do have FAR for anyone that's wondering, well, that was pretty easy to get to space, so we are using FAR. Um, makes it so I do have to build aerodynamic rockets, uh, but it also gives you, you know, lifting bodies and all that stuff, too, and makes it much easier to get into uh, space and... Uh, kind of in that same token to get into orbit too, so. Alright, last one. Whoa! Must have still been a little bit uh, in the atmosphere and that does look like that was the case. Uh, so it might have helped to have um, some fins on that last one, but we're all good there, so lots of science available to us. Looks like we're going to can't remember what the, the line is for uh, space in Kerbin, but I think we actually made it out to space and playing uh, real solar systems uh, too much. All right, so that's this episode. Uh, built up two rockets here and uh, collected us quite a bit of science. Yeah, looks like we made it to space. So just got to return this all back, and uh, then we'll have unlocked some more stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, got a lot of stuff planned. We're using Kerbalism, so we're going to be doing um, a lot with that and a lot with colonies and uh, trips to Duna, trips to uh, hopefully to Jewel. I've never done one before, but uh, trips to Jewel and uh, sending probes and science everywhere to the various planets and uh, lots of fun missions coming up. So, this is Greykith. Have a great day.